Well, I can imagine that this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be the Sumblessa headlamp from Amazon. We're going to go over a couple things and probably do something fun with it. Let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. So I know what everybody's thinking. The you know some blessa the brand. I I've never heard of it before. Uh, they carry it on Amazon. It runs about thirty five bucks for this headlamp. It's got some really cool features. It's got some nice things about it. So uh, pretty excited to check it out. I got an email from Gavin over at some blessa asking if he could send me you know send me one of these to do a review on. Uh, so yeah, of course I said yes. I'd, I'd love to do a review. So this was given to me by them to do a review. I did not pay for it. Uh, fun thing though is he gave me two of them. So at the end of this video, we're going to give one away. Well, you know, maybe not at the end of this video, but there will be another video uh, saying who the winner of this one is. So stay tuned for that. All right. So this is your Sun Blessa headlamp. It runs for like 35 bucks on Amazon. It's the H11. And uh, you can get it in a couple different modes. So I opted for the, not the green. I went for the red. And it comes with a CRI white when you do the red emitter. So <clears throat> reading up on this, it's got a lot of cool features. So pretty stoked to check it out. Uh, I watched some reviews on it. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is it looks a little confusing to manipulate and uh we'll we'll go over that the best we can so uh also sorry i have a little space heater running in the background i 100 percent didn't do my due diligence last night and it got really cold here in florida and i woke up and it was like 60 degrees in the house <laughs> oh so uh yeah so i don't know if that's making a lot of uh, a lot of sound on the on the mic or not but if it is i'm sorry it's just it's cold in the studio and yeah i don't like making videos when i'm cold it's like that florida blood is really warm all right so you don't get a whole lot we did get all right, that's what I was looking for. We did get the user manual. This is a USB-A to micro. E, yeah, we, we, all, we all know how I feel about micro USB. I'm not a huge fan, but I, I, you know, some things still use it, so we won't, we won't really ding it for this. So I did read some of this last night. Uh, about unlocking and locking and uh, uh, yeah there you go tells you like the run times and stuff I read this little booklet on a uh, on another person's video that they did because I was trying to trying to search <laughs> to figure out more about this thing before I opened it and tried to use it uh, so here you go this gives you the run times on the white light uh, 2 lumens, 38 lumens 190, 365 on max uh, this, this I'm interested to see because from what I was watching, people were only getting th like 30 seconds or so on basically turbo. And here you go. Here's your red light. Remember, we have the red on here. So red is eight hours. And uh, that's pretty much all that's on here. You get your warranty card. So we'll leave, we'll leave this out for a second because it does have our, has our lumens on it. So here is your Sun Blessa, and we'll take a look at, this is what I really wanted to see because, any uh, anybody else getting Perrin vibes with this? Because I, I totally got Perrin vibes when I was watching the, the video and looking at the pictures. It's definitely not the same, you can, you can tell. But it did, the colors and the scheme looked the same. Inside of the band, nothing, nothing on the inside. And this is just like your normal ratcheting system. Uh, this guy does, it's on a little arm, so you can maneuver this. So that's cool, you can point it up and down. You got a little bit of a uh, port here, there you go, charging port. 
I'm guessing that this is airtight. This is supposed to be waterproof, so that's cool. Uh, it is a rechargeable battery. It does not look like it is user replaceable. Uh, it does not. Okay, and it also has a lockout mode, so we can see that we're locked out. You can see that little red light flash. So if you hold about three seconds, it'll flash, and then you're out of lockout mode. So you've only got these two buttons here. And uh, we'll get a close-up of the actual light itself. Here you go. There's the bottom. All that is just a little arm. There you go. So real quick, before we start getting into the functions of the light, let's uh, go ahead and do the normal thing. This light itself is two inches exactly. And I'm not going to measure the headband. It is adjustable. It's elastic. It's got plenty of stretch. So the headband can basically be as big as you want it to be. Especially if you got a big head like myself. You don't have to worry about that with this. Weight wise, we are 1.7 ounces. Okay. So it is very, very lightweight. So I like that. So let's start off with, well, I guess we could just start off with this. So here we go. There is, let's cycle through real quick. Okay, so it does have memory. So mine was on whatever the last setting was that it got turned on on. So there's your low, two lumens, which will run for 200 hours. There's your middle, 38 lumens, 20 hours. High, 190, five hours, and then hold for a second. Oh, well, that took me a strobe. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. All right, well, you're supposed to hold to go to turbo. There it goes. Okay, so hold and let go to go to turbo, which is 365 lumens for 40 minutes. Yeah, th this is the part that I was talking about, so clicking cycles you through and if we leave it like on a setting for I don't know what the timer is like five or ten seconds and then you click it it's it's not gonna go to the next setting it's gonna know that you were using this and then it'll shut off and then when you turn it back on it'll go back to that setting again so I mean that that's pretty cool uh, that's that's neat that it does that um, at least you don't have to turn it on and cycle every single time so like for me I would more than likely be moonlight so I would just leave it on moonlight and then after a few seconds I could shut it off and then next time I turn it on it'll be on moonlight so strobe warning uh, once, once you are using this if you press and hold we go to strobe there you go and then now on the other side because this is a two-sided button there we go so you can see power R I'm guessing R means red so here's your CRI white. Uh, there we go. Red. And that's basically the three settings as far as just like clicking the button goes. Once you're on the red, you can press and hold. Strobe warning again. It's going to go into SOS. And then if you click it after going into SOS, then you get just standard flashing. So, I mean, this you know uh there's only one thing i don't like i don't like the plastic construction and the other thing i've read was that people were having an issue with battery life not everybody uh just some people which i mean y you know i batteries are battery <laughs> i don't know i don't know what else to say batteries are batteries you just never know um, you know, it's 35 bucks. It's a headlamp. It's got a lot of cool features. So being that you would probably have to cut costs somewhere, it could just be a cheaper battery. Um, or, you know, they could have just had that luck of the draw and got the, got the bad batteries out of the bunch, which happens, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. Um, so this is a flood beam. So this thing is going to be, it, it isn't really going to have a hot spot at all. It is just going to be straight flood. Um, I mean, of course, here it looks like we have a hot spot, but it, it is going to be flood. Uh, I'll, I'll eventually do a video, like a full a full review on this, and just 
take it out and um, shine it at night, do a couple little things with it and see, just kind of see what I think. Uh, bat the Speaking of the battery on this, it is a 700 milliamp lithium ion polymer is what, what it's listed as. So, uh, I, you know, I wish I had, my, I wish I had the pair in here so I could compare, but really it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it'd be much of a comparison, but at the same time, I mean, we're talking the difference between a budget headlamp, you know, semi-budget. This has, this has some pretty nice features and it pushes closer to the $40, um, to, you know, like the Olight Perrin, that's, that's a hundred dollars. Those are, those are relatively expensive. I do like, I'd be interested to know how this holds up, the, the actual ratcheting. It, it feels solid. It doesn't feel like I have any play. My only, my only concern with stuff like this is that it just pops off. Just got two little nubs at the end. My only concern with stuff like this is it doesn't really say it, but I'm assuming this is some kind of just plastic polymer type. It looks like this looks like plastic. No bend there, but this has plenty of give. I, I'm glad this has plenty of give. If this was more rigid or had had more retention on this, those would snap trying to take this thing on and off. There's your. Is that just for? Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a concave on the back of it. Huh. I thought this was. I totally in the pictures thought this was a button, but it's not. It kind of looks like a little camera. <laughs> no, but in in all seriousness, this this thing's not bad. Um, is that? Uh, I can't tell. I should have. I should have brought my UV light. Um. This looks like. Hold hold on hold on. I need to grab the UV light. Okay. All right. Let me. Let's just check this. Sorry. I, I never. I never do a cut like in the middle of an unboxing video. But I just. I just had to know. I. It didn't say anywhere that it was glow in the dark, but. Wandering minds. Uh, it is. It is glow in the dark. Okay. Cool. Um, that is that is neat. Uh, so that's that is a good feature, that the charging port and the uh the buttons on top they are glow in the dark. Nice. It doesn't look like they go li glow very long, but also, you know, I just, this thing just came out of the box. I just hit it for a second with my, uh, my little UV light. So, um, glow in the dark. That is cool. And I like that you can just easily pop this on and off the headlamp. So if you're using this more in like a, you know, like a camping setting or just for a job and you needed, you know, pop, take this out, pop it off turn on the light just to light up like a tent or an area if you needed just light around you that's cool uh i do like that uh i i didn't realize that it did that i figured you could take it off but i didn't think it was just going to be something that snapped on and off and it's not it's not going to go anywhere it's one of those things where i have to peel yeah see you just have to pull that back so that's cool i do like that i like that i can just take it apart and use it if i needed to um you know, it's really not bad. It's got it's got some cool features. Uh, the red is nice. The SOS and the strobe is nice. Um, I'm a fan of the CR white. The CRI white is what they label it as. Uh, I was wondering if you could do both at the same time. Dang. <laughs> uh, I don't think that. Yeah. So if you try to if you try to do the SOS or anything with the CRI, it won't do it. It just has the low and the medium for the CRI, and then your red. The red is cool though. I like the red. The red is actually pretty bright. My studio lighting is very bright. Um, so yeah, the red. The red is cool. Let's get a close-up shot of the emitters. So the only the only emitter that it actually talks about on the site 
is the what do they call it the Cree XP G3 LED chip and that's the that's the only thing only LED that says on there doesn't talk about the other so I don't know <laughs> but regardless I, this is a cool light thank you know th thanks for some blessing for sending it, sending it out I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to expect with this thing um, I dig it I dig it I don't think that it's junk, so that's that's good. Uh, you, you just never know. I, I actually think it's a pretty decent light, um, at least out of the box, using it on a table. So far, it feels like a decent light. Only time will tell, and when I actually take it out and do, you know, just like a normal everyday use of it, just to see what it's like or how it holds the battery life. I need to charge it up. Uh, like I said, I haven't charged it. I haven't done anything with it. I just took it out of the box. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So on to the next part. I've got a second one that they sent me. This is the same exact one. It is unopened. Well, unopened by me anyways. The boxes kind of just come opened like that. They don't have anything holding them down sticker wise. This is the same as mine. Uh, there we go. Same as mine. This is the red. <laughs> It doesn't say it. <laughs> Anyways, this is also the same. It's the red. Uh, I got two reds with the CRI white. We're going to give this one away. Uh, just, you know, I, I, it's been a fun month. I, we've been doing this for a little bit over a month. And uh, we've gotten, we hit the 200 mark a little while ago. And I wanted to do something fun. I've got another giveaway coming up. But I wanted to go ahead and give this away now. Uh, just because you know you guys you guys support me you leave me good feedback everybody's everybody really has a lot of interaction going on and I'm having fun with it so let's go ahead and give this one away uh, just leave a comment down below of what your favorite EDC item is doesn't have to be a flashlight doesn't have to be anything in particular just tell me what your favorite thing you carry is and that'll enter you in the in the in the drawing and then we'll I'll throw a video up of me putting the iPad up I'm doing the drawing randomizing it and then we'll get a lucky winner and I'll have it sent out. So we're going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing and check back for future content. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you on the next one.